Tony's done. So this is going to be an update on the clutch number seven. Yeah, this is the second last clutch of the 2018 season. The pairing was a hate pied to a hate pied. That these this pairing I had been growing for five years. Um, paired them up a couple of tight, couple of other seasons. They locked every year, but the female just didn't lay eggs, so I was beginning to wonder if um, it was going to happen. Uh, this year, finally, uh, she laid seven eggs, two went bad, and five hatched. So with the two going bad, I was thinking, oof, the chances of, of Lord of getting the visual pied. Uh, I've kind of put off buying a visual pied. I could have bought a visual pied in the years leading up. I've put it off because I really wanted to prove these out. I think that's part of the fun, uh, proving out the the recessive hits. Um, so that was my plan. This wee guy and another one I've got just quite feisty. Uh, so I may get back. I may get back, like you can see. So this is just a normal 66% head pride. Um, trying to show you my wee bit. Um, I think he's in shed as well, so a little bit extra cranky. But this is him or her. I haven't sexed uh, any of the any of this clutch. Uh, well, I've sexed them at first when they first hatched, but. I like to double and triple check before I, I say for sure what they are. But um, that's the first one. I'll attempt to get him without losing a finger. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Next one in this clutch. There's another normal or classic. 66% hate pride. The, the this clutch is really dark and the the normals have kinda granity pattern on them or granity effect should I say um, so the fact that they're quite dark this camera's not really picking up I don't know if you can see kinda granity effect there in the saddles, or oh, not the saddles, on the alien heads. Uh, loads of little speckles on them. Um, again, the lighting's awful in here, so apologies. But, that's baby number two in the clutch. For a normal 66% head pied. Baby number three, again, it's a really dark, normal, and also quite a feisty wee guy. Again, oh, the three that I've showed you so far, it's got this kind of granite look about them. And this camera's not really picking it up. see it. So, head pied to head pied. So far, three normals. Um, they all have the kind of pied tracks on them. So, obviously we know that's a sign that they, a good sign of being head pied, but it's obviously no guarantee. Um, as the odds would go, two out of these first three should be hit pied, but again you never know. But again that's the fun. Uh, someone, if not myself, so someone will get the chance <laughs> to, to try and prove these out. Um, with a bit of luck there's two females and a male and it. it's a wee trio. It'd be quite fun to try and prove out. So anyway, we're getting back in. Next one. 
finally not to prove out my recessive this season. Try and get some bit of light. But this is my first pied. It's a really low white pied. It's got a little bit more white here. I can open up. And a little bit more white in the tail. Down at the tail end, as you can see. But, again, the camera won't be picking this up. But the bottom of the snake here, just before the belly, is really orange. Um, and really nice. So, the fourth egg. Which is the odds one in four should have been video. Um, finally, after five years of feeding, fasting, pairing, locking, and giving me false hope, he finally gave me that visual pride. And I'm not complaining. Really nice snake. Not that you get to see it much of this camera in this light, but super happy then. And the last baby of this clutch is another pied. So out of five eggs and a head to head pairing, I got two pieds. <laughs> So, it kind of makes up for the odds on the, the last one with the head clown not proving out. This one is almost a 0% white pied. It's literally got this wee white flash here. You can see. And it's got another wee tiny white flash down its tail. You can see it. But the rest of them. It's all pattern. And my ideal pied would be in a 50 50 white and pattern pied. But this guy, full pattern, I mean, it'd be interesting to see if you could produce some, put some other jeans into this and have full pattern combos, obviously. Breeding, this one doesn't mean that you're always going to get full part. This one could throw up a 90% white pied, so there's not really any guarantee of getting the full patterns again. But I was quite shocked when this came out. This. As much as I wanted the white, the 50% white, and both, oh, calm down, yike. Both babies are really high pattern, really low white, but definitely. 100% pied. The camera is probably not backing it up very well. But they're definitely pied. This camera has them, has them really brown, but in person, they're really, really orange. If I can get that on the camera. But the bottom of them here is literally orange. It's not as browned out as it looks on the camera. So, can I really complain about those odds? That's not clutch number seven, guys. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we got clutch number eight on soon. Clutch number eight was a lesser clown male again to a pewterplast female. Um, so that's the last clutch to show you. Um, I'll get that uploaded soon. Right, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thank you.